most of the history of time, the only way of getting fish is you catch it from the wild. Over half of the fish that we eat on the planet now is farmed. If it was only available through wild caught activity, we'd run out of fish quite quickly. Aquaculture is one of the most sustainable forms of protein production that we have. There's going to be more of us on this planet and people want to be fed. People want seafood. There's an increasing demand for seafood. The open ocean is the new frontier for aquaculture and King Salmon are one of the first companies to be looking to go out there to do this. There's risk in that, but we see that aquaculture, if it is done right, can be done in a really sustainable way. We're on the cusp of a new area for salmon farming in New Zealand. Companies are looking at the open ocean opportunity. You know, that's a whole new area for us, but something to be truly excited about. The government set a $3 billion target for aquaculture by 2035, and then they've moved that back to 2030. We're a long way from that, but it's a clear signal to the entire industry that the government is backing it and is wanting to see growth in that particular sector. In order for us to grow this industry, we're not looking at a huge amount of space being taken over. Our ocean is more than 15 times our land area. We are only farming a tiny, tiny portion of that, so 0.01%. That 0.01% is generating $650 million for us at the moment. So you can generate $14 million worth of salmon out of one hectare of space. One hectare is a rugby field. So 10 rugby fields, that's $140 million from salmon. For us, Blue Endeavour's the next step in our evolution. It's going to be New Zealand's first open ocean finfish aquaculture farm and it will pave the way for our industry. New Zealand's got one of the largest exclusive economic zones of water in the world. We can utilise our coastal spaces much, much better than we are. We're just out here today at the Blue Endeavour site. We travelled out here by boat. It took us about an hour to get here and the site is located seven kilometres northwest of Cape Lambert. The technology we're going to deploy at Blue Endeavour is going to be cutting edge. So we'll have 10 168 metre pens on each of the northern and southern side. There'll be a barge associated with that site and the barge will hold between six and 900 tonnes of food. We can expect waves of four metres high from crest to trough coming through this farm. So it's been really important that we engineer the farm to be able to withstand that. To do this, we've got a mooring grid, and that mooring grid basically secures each of the 10 pens. So these pens are state of the art, and they'll house 100,000 fish in the each. Each of those pens are free just to simply float within that mooring grid. We're going to be able to produce another 10,000 tonnes of fish, which means we can more than double the size of our business. The prospect of open ocean farming in Cook Strait will take our sector to a, a whole new level. It will enable a scale that isn't achievable where we currently farm in the inner sounds. We're working with New Zealand King Salmon to try to understand what those aquaculture environment interactions are and what the things are that they need to consider to make sure that this farm is a success from a sustainability perspective. The community should be assured that there is a very detailed assessment, interrogation and process that you have to go through to get the approval to farm. As we go through a period of global warming, we understand that the temperature is going to rise. We're moving into the open ocean and we're exposing the fish to cooler water all year round. So that's going to be great from a fish health perspective. It's going to be great biologically for the fish. We need to ensure that we're there for the long term and that's for the benefit of everybody, both the company and the country. There are 3,000 jobs in aquaculture around the country. 70% of aquaculture is actually based here in Nelson Tasman, so we know it's a really strong driver for the economy. The New Zealand King Salmon Company would be one of the largest employers in the top of the South Island, with over 500 employees as well as hundreds of others benefiting in terms of providing services to that company. They are deeply committed to their community and something that they should be very proud of.
all big industries have long supply chains. The impact of that can't be underestimated. By actually providing jobs locally, we know that that spend, that money go round that sits within the region is essential for retaining the buoyancy of the, the region and helping it grow financially. So if New Zealand was to see the fruition of the Blue Endeavour project, that would mean an immediate growth in jobs, it would be high value jobs, investment in research, science and technology, and an elevation of the economy of Tatawihu. We honestly believe we could be New Zealand's most valuable sector. At the same time, we could be New Zealand's greenest primary sector. And we want to play our part in creating all of that. There's so much potential associated with Blue Endeavour. That is literally the blue horizon, the blue frontier for us.